All right, we're all loaded up. Jake got here about half an hour ago. Got the girls put to sleep. Two sick kiddos inside. Leave my wife with them. Hopefully uh, that goes good. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna hit the road now. We got a 13 hour drive. We're driving it straight through. So as soon as we get there, we're gonna sleep. Then we're gonna unpack everything, shoot our bow, and then we're gonna do some scouting. So let's go. Five minutes later. Where are we going? Back home. Oh, why is that? I got all of my hunting clothes. All of your hunting clothes. We're five minutes from the house. So. Yeah, but you would think that would be. I'm sitting there trying to think of everything, and you're like talking about the deer and stuff. And I'm like, keep going over the checklist. I'm like, wait, I don't remember my hunting tab. I mean, you're the only one that created a checklist, and you forgot all of your hunting clothes. I have it packed. Not in the truck. <sighs> Great start. We're in South Dakota. Well, we made it 13 hours later. Happy the bow is on still from the travel, so that's a good thing. It's opening morning. We're out here first light. Just glassing all of this wide open country here, looking for a muley or white tail. We see some white tails and a couple muleys. I haven't seen nothing big yet, but.
bucks are still bedded. We're gonna go put a stock. Got quite a ways to walk. Get it in front of them. So uh, we're gonna go check them out. I think they're one of them is definitely a shooter, but we're gonna find out.
steady I didn't take into consideration the elevation is 38 yards poke shot easy I don't know we haven't watched the footage to see if he jumped the string or not but it's in the wide open and I shot it's in no man's land it didn't hit an artery I mean it didn't even face him he's running off All right looks like he already took the arrow out too so clean flesh wound Okay, if you use the grass as a reference point, obviously Jake moves a little bit with the camera, but use that reference point. You'll see that my arrow goes basically just underneath that grass, which should be right in the vitals as that deer standing broadside. And that deer basically was taking a step, turning, and ducked my arrow before the arrow ever hit. And you can hear the real loud thwop uh, once upon impact on this deer. Well, it's day two. We're at a new location now. It's later afternoon. But this morning, we tracked for well over three miles. Uh, me and Jake was right at three miles, and the other Kyle was at 3.8 miles. We gridded everything we possibly could on foot looking for that buck to see if we can get another stock on him. And we also drove around the entire square and I don't know how many how many miles we could see, but it was a lot, and never came up on them. So I know I know it's not a fatal shot, but you know we're, we might go back there again tomorrow morning and look. But we're at a new location now, looking for a different buck, seeing what comes out here. We had a ton of rain this morning, so I don't I don't understand why they're not up and on their feet a lot more today. But we haven't seen very many deer at all today. But we're gonna keep trying. Day two ended with seeing a lot of different animals, just no shooters. We did a lot of glassing, a lot of scouting, but we did not find a shooter. He's a little bitty fella, ain't he? Mm -hmm.
out here finding sheds. And that is not a match set. The white tail and a muley. That's cool. Would have been cool to find the match set, but that's awesome. Day three was a lot of the same as day two. A lot of driving around, a lot of glassing, looking across a lot of landscape. We also went back to the original property where I stuck the first buck and never saw the buck whatsoever. So that concluded day three. At daybreak of day four, we spotted several whitetail bucks. One in particular, we were gonna to try to make a move on. However, we got in the truck to go further down the road and spotted this group of mule deer bucks. And there was for sure a couple shooters in there. I can't get his range. Got it. Looks a little high, but not bad. Dude. He ain't gonna go far. Not a lot of penetration, but he's definitely feeling it. From what the camera saw and what I actually saw was two different things. But after reviewing the footage, I will say with the naked eye, I don't think you could possibly see what happened. In this still frame, I'm shooting the Black Eagle Spartan Arrows. 
and the graphics are about a little over halfway up the arrow, probably three fourths of the way up. And in this still frame, you can actually see the orange and yellow graphics, and you can see about two inches of black arrow in front of those graphics, meaning I had at least 10 inches of penetration upon impact, which I had no idea I actually had. But you notice as soon as this deer takes his first step after being shot, that shoulder blade actually pushes that arrow up and pushes it out. After watching the footage, I was definitely pretty sick about it and really worried if we we're going to find this buck or not. I cannot believe that just worked. Hopefully he's going to die. That did not look like a terrible shot. Not a ton of penetration, which worries me. But I cannot believe that stock just worked. That was insanity. It's all these bucks out here. Kyle dropped us off. We had to get across this road and across the ditch to this field before we're legal to be able to shoot those, those deer. And luckily, for some reason, something, something got their attention way back there. And they all looked that way. Me and Jake beelined across that road, got down the ditch, crawled through the fence right here, cock, full of cockburs, everything, super quiet get over here lay down and I, I can just see the racks coming from our left to our right and he, he gets right here the the wider buck comes out first I decided to go for the back one he's wide open lined it up and shot and the shot the shot does not look bad at all I'm just worried a little bit about penetration Hopefully it's gonna do enough. He just crested this ridge over here. He was bleeding hardcore. I could see the blood pumping. So we're gonna wait for Kyle to get over here and then uh, we'll go pick up this blood trail here shortly. Please God, fingers are crossed. Let's see what happens. Loaded down and we're gonna go hopefully find this buck. Hopefully he's dead. Middle seat. But if he's not, hopefully we can stick him again. Correct. Correct. Hop in, loser. Let's go. Punching a baby. 
He's just gonna set up for a picture. Oh, that's beautiful. Just, yeah, let's just think. Halo. He's not. Go right there. Kyle, you're freaking incredible. Dead. Last breath. We just tracked. How, how far is that cop? A mile and a half? A mile. A mile? A mile. Hotter than Africa. No wind. It's dried up. It's crunchy, everything else. Went to this draw. Draw after draw after draw. Didn't see him, didn't see him, didn't see him. So we come all the way to this furthest draw all the way. And we're about ready to go right. And Kyle's like, I'm just gonna peek over this little bit right here. There's nothing here. And there he was, his velvet antlers are right there. And he was painting real hard. And he had, there was so much crap in the way. I think we stood there for 15 minutes, at least probably, waiting for him to do something so I could get a shot. The wind started swirling went down to him I could tell he got a lick of her wind so I knew it was his go time I just feel like shit I've shot like shit this whole trip South Dakota first buck I felt awful and then this one I'm steady everything else within my range and duck the arrow real bad hit him high ran all the way over here and we gave it absolute hell absolute hell and what a freaking cool buck and my first velvet buck ever thank you jake for sticking with us doing all this i mean we've tracked some serious freaking miles coming over here unreal thanks again kyle this is incredible holy crap i can't believe that just worked that was insane <laughs> that deer was right there 20 freaking yards and center punched him Let's go look at him. I'm gonna get the ranger over to here. Okay. Hey, can you wait though? I'd like you to at least go up there with me. Yeah. First time. Okay. Okay. You got that, Jake? That's for you, Kenzie. That's Foxy. That's the Foxy buck. She wanted to name it Foxy. She gave me this bracelet before we came. And, uh, I gotta say, there's a lot of times God makes you wonder and question yourself and question your faith. That right there just worked. Unreal. And not to mention, freaking one of the top guys you'll ever meet right here, Kyle. Unreal. I thought you were talking about me. Yeah, that's a lot. And Jake. Jake. Jake's been running the camera, but he's been doing a hell of a lot of glassing. We've been glassing hard because I screwed up on day one. Been looking ever since. And uh, let's quit Billy dallying and go look at him. Yeah, let's go look at him. Let's do it, dude. There's his bed right there. There's the arrow. Holy blood. Uh, yeah. Blood absolutely everywhere in here. And that's where we were. 
right up there. <laughs> this is the draw he was in, just laying right here in this grass. And he's dead right there, right on that pond dam. Yeah! Way bigger than I thought. Holy crap. God. Oh. Oh my God. Freaking stud of a buck. Look at this, inside point here, inside point here, kicker off the left G2, unbelievable. He's bigger than I thought. Oh my gosh, he's way bigger than I thought. Look at those bases. Dude, look how thick he is. I did not know he was this big. Like this is ultimate shock right here. First velvet buck ever. Unreal. Let's see. I shot him. Guys, that's the first shot right here. Look at this. That's my first shot. Tell me that's a bad shot. I don't know how he went this far. Dude! Giant gaping hole. He's a giant it, deer. Yeah. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Dude, we have worked so hard after that first day screw up. Complete chaos. Didn't get it done. Tracked, looked everywhere, couldn't find him. Tried the next day, couldn't find him. Even went back there the third day, did like five laps, couldn't find him. So we left that far and we came back here for the last day that we're here in South Dakota. Um, Brett with Bad River, Bucks and Birds, Kyle the guide, these guys are first class. I mean, they work their tails off to put you on deer. They don't take a ton of people archery hunting, which is fantastic. Allows these bucks to get bigger, more plentiful, see all kinds of deer, all kinds of wildlife, you name it, whitetail, muleys. This is unbelievable. Super cool buck. <sighs> Look at that thing. Not gonna lie, we thought it was a whole different deer because it looked so much bigger. Look at the mass. <laughs> Thank you, man. That is a stud. That is a cool deer. You need to be pretty with that early colt, too. That is nice. I mean, I can't get over that mass right there. I'm just careful when you, yeah. Yeah. He's cool. You might drop, but yeah, he's cool as shit. So he's got the inside there, he's got yeah. a kicker back there, and he's got the inside right here. If you were to let him rub off, probably got an extra point on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, buddy. Kyle is the man. Yep. We were this close. We like looked down the finger, nothing. We turned right, we started walking, he's like, I'm just gonna peek down. You guys stay right here, I'm gonna peek down that just a little bit further. He went 20 yards. And he just freaked out like, <laughs> he's in right here. Well, all in all, South Dakota had its highs and lows, but overall, we came out on top. Special thanks to Jake Vansel for going out there to film and to take pictures and helping with the glassing. I mean, we glassed enough that our eyelids hurt for days. I also want to thank Kyle Villa, who had eyes like an eagle, and without him, there's no way this opportunity would have presented itself. So a huge thank you to you, Kyle, and to Brett at Bad River Bucks and Birds. They have a first-class operation, great people there. Just had a blast. It's definitely a week I will remember forever and uh, really looking forward to going back someday.